I'm a lifelong member of St. Peter Claver Parish. I don't know any other church and wouldn't have it any other way. I remember growing up in this area, still live in this area. I really got my foot in the door, if you will, through our Catholic youth organization. I look to the church to be uh, a leader, to, to help me grow. St. Peter Claver Church was opened in a rough, in a time which was really rough for African American Catholics in Baltimore. If you lived in West Baltimore and were black and Catholic, you had to go all the way across town to East Baltimore, Caroline Street, to St. Francis Xavier Church. Others would have to go to what we would call white parishes. The difficulty there was that our people would have to sit in the back of church. It was roped off, or if the church had a balcony, they had to sit in the balcony. Permission was granted to the Josephite fathers, who were then the Mill Hill fathers, coming over from England, to build another church in Baltimore. So St. Peter Claver was officially open on September 9th, 1888. History says it was a wonderful event. It rained that day, but over a thousand people marched from St. Francis Xavier, all the way in East Baltimore, to come over here to open St. Peter Claver. St. Peter Claver is named after a Spanish Jesuit priest. He is sometimes known as a slave for the slaves. So you would really, were in 